Okay, boys and girls, good morning. I hope everybody's having a great morning. Happy Tuesday. Feliz Martes. Okay, so today we are going over our calendar. And we also are going to do some numbers, our words of the week, our flashcards. And then we are going to color in our chicken. Okay, so hoy vamos a repasar el calendario, los números. Las palabras de la semana, eh, unas palabras de vocabulario y también vamos a hacer el, el colorear nuestro pollito, nuestro gallina. So, let's get ready to start. Vamos a comenzar. Okay, boys and girls, let's go over our calendar for today. Vamos a repasar el calendario de hoy. It'll be really quick. Ok, estamos en el mes de abril, en la época de primavera. Y este mes celebramos dos cosas. Pascua, el día de la tierra, o se puede decir el día del mundo. So let's go ahead and count and say the days of the week. And then we could count them. Vamos a repasar los días de la semana y después vamos a contar cuántos días de semana tenemos. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes y sábado. Ahora vamos a contar cuántos días tenemos en la semana. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, y siete. Siete días en la semana. Ok, vamos a ver cuántos días tenemos en el mes por ahora. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, 13 y 14. ¿Quién me puede decir qué día de la semana es hoy? Hoy es martes. Muy bien. Ayer fue lunes y mañana es Miércoles. Muy bien. Hoy es martes, abril 18 de 2020. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a contar cuántos días faltan para el Día de la Tierra. Porque ya pasó Pascua. So, ahora vamos a contar cuántos días faltan para el Día de la Tierra. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete y ocho. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a repasar unos números. Después vamos a hacer unas tarjetas de vocabulario. Y después... Después vamos a hacer una actividad coloreando. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a repasar los números del 1 al 30. Now we're going to go over the numbers from 1 to 30 in Spanish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 y 30. Muy bien. 
Ya pronto se lo van a aprender todos. Soon you guys will know all the numbers in Spanish easily. So let's go over our words of the week. And then afterwards we'll do some cards. Like vocabulary cards. Okay, vamos a comenzar. Vamos a decir las palabras juntos. We're going to say the words together. Pollo. Chicken. Pollo. Chicken. Pollito. Chick. Pollito. Chick. Or baby chick. Gallo. Rooster. Gallo. Rooster. Gaina. Hen. Gaina. Hen. So, rooster is a male chicken. And a hen is a female chicken or a girl chicken. So, let's go over the words in Spanish and then again in English by itself. Pollo. Pollito. Gallo, gallina. Chicken, chick. Rooster, and hen. Good job, guys. By the end of the week, you guys are going to learn them. Okay, so now with our Spanish flashcards. Ahora vamos a repasar una tarjeta de vocabulario en español. So let's go ahead and get started. I want you to repeat after me. El conejo. El conejo come vegetales. Rabbit. The rabbit eats vegetables. El pájaro. Es un pájaro azul. Bird. It is a blue bird. El gato. El gato duerme en la cama. Cat. The cat sleeps on the bed. La vaca. La vaca es blanca y negra. Cow. The cow is white and black. El perro. El perro juega con la pelota. Dog. The dog plays with the ball. El pez. El pez vive en el agua. Fish. The fish lives in the water. El ratón. Tengo un ratón pequeño. Mouse. I have a small mouse. El cerdo. Vive un cerdo en la granja. Pig. I saw a pig on the farm. So that was all our flashcards for today, boys and girls. You guys are doing such a great job. Please stay tuned so that we could do our chicken together. So we'll get started soon. Ahora vamos a comenzar a colorear una gallinita juntos. Okay, boys and girls, let's go ahead and start. So today we're going to be coloring a chicken and this chicken is kind of like the last one we did la last week but instead of numbers it has letters so as you can see here it has D G F A B so in the very top it says match the colors with the alphabet and color the chicken so that's what we're gonna do. So for this, you're gonna need your chicken paper and your crayon box to go ahead and get that. Now in the very top, I want you to start writing your name. I am going to put my name. So you go ahead and do that. 
Okay, now you see that there's some circles here, right? Okay, so it's a little confusing because I guess when I print it, it didn't print so clearly, but here are the letters. The first one says A. So in order for us not to get confused, we're gonna color the first letter, which says A, we're gonna color it red. So whenever you see an A, like here, you're gonna go ahead and color that red, but not yet. We're gonna do it together. Okay, the next color is green, but instead of it saying B, it says C. So if you see a C, you're gonna color it what color? Green. Let's go ahead and color that so you don't get confused. The next color is the color blue. And that, and then this one shows the letter B. So the letter B, we're gonna color it blue. Then we have another letter that it's very hard to see, but I was able to print in a different paper so I could see it. So this one is F. So F, we're gonna color it orange. Then we have pink for E. Color that in. The next letter, let's see if you guys know it. You're right, is G. So we're gonna color it yellow. Then we have brown, which is the letter H. Go ahead and color that in. Now, this letter, I couldn't figure it out what letter it was, but we're gonna say, I mean, uh, I, can't, I couldn't figure out which letter is that, but it says it's black. Now, I looked through the whole page and all I seen was A, B, C, D. Um, so I'm not so sure what letter this would be, but we'll figure it out later. Now, the next letter is D. This is the one that they gave you inside the circle and that one's gonna be white. Now, if you don't have a white, it's okay to just leave it blank because your paper is already white, so it's not that tricky. I have my white, so I colored the letter D white. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, so we'll start with the letter A. Can you find the letter A's on your paper? You're right, they're right here. We're gonna color this in together. Now we're following instructions. So it said A on the head and A on it. On its waddle. If I'm sure that it's what it's called. It looks really good, boys and girls. So now we're gonna color, this would be C and it says green. So let's get our green, and we're gonna color the bottom. You see all those C's? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine C's, we're gonna color those green. I was trying to record myself without seeing. Pay attention to where you're coloring because you don't want to go and 
jump into a different letter. Because remember, each letter is a color. Okay, good job. So now we're moving on to our next color. Now, don't forget to put your crayons back in the box once you're done so you don't lose them. Our next color is going to be the color blue. You're right. So our letter B is going to be our blue. So I see the letter B here. So let's go ahead and count how many we have. One, two, three and four bees. Let's go ahead and color them real quick. Your chicken is looking really good, boys and girls. So proud of you. Really, really good. Okay, and that's our last B. Okay, let's put our crayon back inside our box. Now, the next letter is F, which is this one right here. And F is telling us to color it orange. So, let's go ahead and count how many Fs we have so we don't get confused. I have one here, two, and three. So those three things, those three, the feathers and the neck, we're gonna color it orange. Okay, <clears throat> now I don't see any more Fs, so we're gonna go ahead and put that crayon back and get, uh, well, I don't see any E's, so there's no reason for me to use the pink. And then I see, was our next color? G, so I do see those. So let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and color those.
chicken looks really good very cute very cute guys okay now the next color is brown so brown is H so here is pointing to how many H's one two two H's and we're gonna go ahead and color it brown the little beak the little beak okay that looks really good guys okay so then the letter D is remember what I said this um, circle I couldn't figure out what letter it was regardless I didn't find any extra letter here so the only letter that's left is D so D is these two eggs that you see right here so if you want you can either leave it like that if you don't have white or you could color it in so let's go ahead and get our white and let's color those eggs in it's kind of tricky because sometimes when you use your white crayon you can't really see if you colored it or not okay but it looks really good okay boys and girls so that's the end your chicken looks really good and i like how you guys follow direction you guys really paid a lot of attention to the video and follow directions with the letters and the colors i know this one was tricky because we were missing two letters but that's why you have to pay good attention so that you can figure out if if the letter is there or not Okay, well that's all for today and I hope you guys enjoyed coloring the chicken with me. Have a great afternoon.